something, she's a freak. Little Fontaine, fuck her seven days a week. Pussy popping, but she only pop for me. My friends say leave her, she belongs to the streets. She's my little crow, dirty on the low. Fuck me and suck me, make my head go and explode. Only when she sniffed that fucking candy up her nose. She my bad bitch, and everybody knows. Tiny eyed girl, so the kush got a low. Always on the grind and hustling on the go. She's sucking dick, she look at me like a drone Crazy Welcome, a rebel Show me the love, show me the way Give me your heart, it's forever to stay Girl, you don't want nothing from me Love me all good and then asleep okay. Show me your love, show me your heart Show me the way, show me you're here to stay all right all right what is going on people it's your boy mario of woke up a rebel and we are here for an episode a very special episode of revelations podcast we are here at four sound studio during the collab series camp it's a songwriting camp where there's a bunch of artists in the room right now in the next room uh cooking up some beats cooking up some writing some songs and right now we have next to me we have keanu lee he's an artist songwriter and he is a singer folks right based on honestly based on the look i actually thought you know i was stereotyping i apologize i thought you were a rapper bro but you know what there's a lot to uh, we got there's a lot to learn here about not judging a book by its cover different style man thanks for having me guys all right so what we're going to be doing here we're just going to ask a few questions you know to the artist so that way my audience can get to know who he is on the revelations podcast you can find that on spotify apple music and everywhere else that you can stream podcast cool all right, so let's get to it, my man. Nice to meet oh, you. It's nice a it's a pleasure, you know, seeing you over here chasing your dream. Yeah, dream catching, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. So, first question I want to ask you, bro, is uh, how did you find out about this program or the studio itself? So, uh, so I recorded with William uh, when I Danero actually probably about four or five years ago, and I kept in touch with him, and he reached out to me for this band camp. So I said, yeah, I'd enter it uh, and do it, and yeah, and then I got chosen to get selected and grateful to be here okay okay yeah. you 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 released a song right uh what's the most current song you have out uh the current the most current song i have out is called uh show me your love i recorded that uh uh with another producer named Kaleb. okay shout out to that that dude he's sick crazy 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 guy crazy producer okay, um, okay. yeah 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 cool all right so the first question man i want to ask you is uh can you share a moment in your life when you realize that songwriting was more than just a hobby or just a passion for you? So, man, I, when I started listening to instrumentals, it started coming to me, like the melodies started coming into my head and then like, like I'd be dead asleep in my bed at like 3 a.m. and I don't know, for some reason I would have this song that, I, that would come to my head and the melody would just come to me and I have, now I have a notebook beside me when okay. I sleep. So then that's how my songs get created, either 3 a.m. or in the studio. You know? 3 a.m., eh, on that yeah. demon time. <laughs> <laughs> on that demon time okay yeah, okay yeah no it's just crazy this is the sleep, the sleep patterns are crazy for me i don't know so it's just one of those things that just came naturally the yeah, universe it, just aligned itself it's weird because like man I, I like i would be working on a song and i would be stuck on it and um at 3 a.m or like 3 30 or something the melody would just i swear to god it would just come in my ear and i'm just like okay i got it and then now i have my notepad beside my bed yeah okay bless bless so beyond the music itself what do you hope your listeners take away from your songs or your journey as a songwriter oh the inspiration of what i sing honestly it's it's r&b music man i, I wanted to touch everybody's souls and i the reaction that i got off of the first couple songs that i did produce people sing it back to me and i love it that's that that's what i go for it's not about like i said before it's not about the fame it's not about it's not about the money it's it's about people singing my music back to me and that's that's what's gonna make my soul feel fulfilled okay bless bless uh with that said uh can you share a moment when a particular song you wrote had a profound impact in someone's life like um, has someone told you you're like yo that song man like that, that spoke to me yeah bro. so so the song i actually created here it was one of my first songs uh with De Niro called climax and that was a banger like everybody listens to it and then i got i got my my girlfriends like my, my home girls they come on they're like yo they sing this song and they're like, yo, we have fucking sex to this music. And I'm like, that's wild. So we, we can swear on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, 
they love the they love the music you know they, they, it's it's a it's a different vibe my my, my music is more baby making music mm. so like the women love it like I, I try to go for that audience you know what i mean that the, the women yeah yeah <laughs> yeah uh what's your background i'm guyanese i'm guyanese you're guyanese yeah. okay okay with a whole bunch of other stuff but i'm just gonna say i'm 100 guyanese cause mm. okay uh so with that said you're guyanese how does your cultural background influence the themes and messages in your songs have you faced any challenges or triumphs expressing your cultural identity um coming from the roots of uh from from our caribbean culture there's, there's always that melody we, we've grown up with soca we've grown up with the uh, caribbean vibes the steel pan and uh, all that different kind of music and uh it's it's just it becomes it becomes you because when you're singing the song the melody just comes to your head it's just, it's, a, it's it's a vibe you know what i mean it's it's, it's you get it, you get it you get used mm -hmm. to it and it's, it's just you make it into your music after it's, it's uh yeah you just uh you brought back a childhood memory for me in middle yeah. school in grade seven i think it was that was the first time i actually ever played an instrument and uh in my middle school it was like right. a whole classroom full of steel pen yeah. so that was the very first instrument after the recorder obviously i don't yeah, really the count recorder, the flute, right yeah, yeah <laughs> right yeah. but steel pen like that's that that has a spe holds a special place in my heart you know yeah no it's, it's it's a different vibe like obviously it's for trini people it's more the steel pan thing is more for the trini people but like i grew up with with trinidadians and guyanese you know so wow. okay okay so another thing um are there are there times when you feel like are there times when you feel pressured to compromise your creative vision for a mainstream appeal? Like, are you trying to hit the, the mainstream circuit? Um, obviously, we're, that's what we're trying to aim for. Uh, that's what I'm trying to aim for. But I, it's not, a, it's not a, the biggest goal of mine. My biggest goal is to perform uh, in front of like, an audience of like 20,000. That's, that's uh, my goal right there, you know? Okay. So I, I, didn't, I didn't know you were a DJ. Yeah, sir. Sick. Yeah, man. That's... Uh, that's yes sir open format djs you know and it's 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 been a blessing you know what i mean like it, that's what it has allowed us to get out there and meet people but production is what right. brought us to this studio right, right. we've dabbled in everything uh we made our uh our uh what do you call it our tags you know our woke up a rebel tags we recorded them in this studio as well so oh, you know, it was blessed a rebel. yeah man so uh Okay, so we're heading over to our last question. Okay, cool. Right, so have you ever experienced a networking aha moment where you realize the power of connections in unexpected ways, and how did that shape your approach to networking moving forward after that? Um, you know what i I know I know a lot of a lot of people in the industry, and I, I guess that kind of helped the, my motivation to to do the things that I do and the networking crew. Um, the people that I have around me, that I'm, I'm truly blessed to have them around me. They're, they know the ins and outs. They know what to do. They, they tell me exactly how to work on it and how to, how to approach it. You know how to approach the music, and they're, they're my influencers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Honestly, like, dude, it's, uh, it's amazing that you know you're here and you're here for a reason. Yeah. I hold a lot of respect for this studio and what has been generated out of this studio. You know the art that has come out of this studio. The artists that have. You know, come up. There's a lot of history with this studio, right? So, you know, we're in a great place. We're in a blessing of a place right now. And, dude, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Love Thank you so man. much. Take care, man. Yeah, man. And everybody, check out Keanu Lee. Yeah. He's on social media. He's going to be everywhere. With, with this episode, we're going to post it, all his info in the description box on YouTube. So that way, everybody can go follow him, check out his music. All right? So thank you, everybody. And is there a final word you'd like to say to people? Ah... Uh... Final word I like to say to people is uh, never give up, believe in your dreams, and uh, fuck the haters. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, thank you, everybody. This was an episode of Revelations Podcast, broadcasting live from Four Sound Studio. Peace. Oof, my man, thank you. Thank Appreciate you. that, man. You're I didn't know he was doing it all that in the background. He's fucking me up. Yeah, me too. <laughs>